YouTube, man? Hey, it is your boy ENC, and guess what we're doing again? Let's right, we're cooking with ENC again. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. This time we're making breakfast, and we're using a couple different ingredients. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're not gonna tell you what we're making, but we're just gonna show you the ingredients, and that's how we're gonna figure out what we're actually gonna be making again. But this is breakfast, so today we're gonna be doing eggs, hash brown, tater tots kind of things, and then uh, uh, some bacon. Trust me, you probably think you know how it's gonna go, but I, I don't think you do, I promise you. I don't think you do. So, first off we're gonna do is we're gonna get your pan. Got your pan. Cheese, you all, you have to have your cheese, man. Che cheese, just trust me, get your cheese, I promise. Cooking spray, tater tots. I just have a bag of tater tots there. Get your bacon, right there. Saran wrap, right there. And your big old case of eggs. One thing you'll notice with me is that I'm, I use a lot of eggs all the time. It's always eggs, 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 eggs. It's good for protein. It can be a little hard for people that don't eat eggs, but I can't help you with that. But anyway, take your foil. Place the foil right down onto your pan. And by the way, you want to preheat your oven. My oven's already preheated at 425. I saw that earlier. While we're waiting right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and spray down this pan right here we have on the stove. You never want to put eggs. I know probably y'all probably noticed, but you don't want to put eggs on a cold pan. When you heat up, it's just gonna burn the eggs onto the pan and then it's hell to get cleaned up. So we're gonna get it started first. Because that's going right now, let's turn this up to, we'll go like the medium hot. And then we'll need a bowl. Let's get a bowl. So a Tupperware or anything you can use to mix your eggs with. Tupperware works. Actually, let's shut this off. I just realized that. You have to kind of be smart with this crap. The bacon is going to take longer to cook than the eggs are going to take. Shut the the, uh, the pan off. The eggs can go as the bacon's cooled down. That's where we find. All right, so let's go ahead and get the bacon in first. Y'all getting me all confused and discombobulated and everything. You can't be doing that to me. And here's the catch. Here's the secret. A lot of people just cook their tater tots and just do it separately and mix it together. We're not doing that. I promise you. Follow the ENC way and you all, I promise you, you all, you all love it. For all y'all that, I don't know if y'all made the, the poppers I made last time. If y'all have not made it, please go make it. They're delicious. If you haven't made it, I hope it came out okay from you, for you. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to cut this up here. I'm going to open up. You know what? We're gonna do this. I'm working on trying to be cleaner with this stuff. I hate doing dishes. There we go. All right. So we're gonna wrap the bacon up in foil already. So you might as well lay the foil out and cut your bacon on top of the foil. Man, my mom would be so proud. Look at me. Cooking on my channel. Make, not making a mess. She watches this channel, by the way. So I hope she saw that comment. If she didn't see that comment, we're gonna be talking, I promise. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. Boom. And slap. <laughs> Throw this away. And we're gonna go ahead and peel this back. Now, you do not need baking spray when you're cooking up, uh, when you're cooking bacon. I hate the fact that I have to actually tell people that because people don't understand this. You don't need uh, cooking spray when you cook your bacon. Bacon got grease in it. Let it go, all right? So, take your bacon. We're gonna switch it so y'all can see it. Again, the same rocket science. Take your bacon. Place it down. One. So I'm making food for myself and my son. That boy can eat. Two, so I'm cutting like six pieces of bacon. Maybe seven. Maybe eight. Yeah, three so far. And then I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do after we do it. Four. Five. We're gonna do six, our pan hole six. So we're gonna do six right there, take the rest of your bacon in that tin foil that you have, and just fold it right back up. Cause you know where it's going? 
right back in the fridge. Cause guess what we doing next breakfast? Next time we make breakfast, more bacon. Or for dinner, more bacon. Take it right back in the fridge. Boom, pop, done. Now, you like the extra noise that made? It kind of makes us, I'm gonna stop doing that. It sounds really stupid. Now you're gonna get your, your uh, turn tops. Place your turn tops onto the pan. Now, here's the reason for this. You're probably gonna notice. I have put half them, half the pan has tater tots, half the pan has bacon. Here is why. Oh, what's going to use recipes? Here is why. The oil from that bacon is going to soak into the, into the tater tots. Pancakes, why I say pancakes? It's going to soak into the tater tots. That's going to give it more of a bacon flavor to it. So let's just put that in there for now. I'm going to open this up so y'all can see this. What's up? We're gonna slide it right into here, just like that, and we close it. All right, we're gonna let that cook, and then now we're gonna go ahead and start the eggs. All right, now, we're gonna pull out the bacon, we're gonna pull out the tater tots. Now the bacon is not gonna be quite done yet, but the tater tots should be about done. And this is where you're gonna see the secret, how I do this, just hold on. So we're gonna get our, right, we're gonna pop this out. Actually, let's let that cook a little longer. While we wait, we're gonna crack our eggs. So make sure you have a trash can. And we're gonna do about six eggs, okay? I like eggs, eggs are a good source of protein. If you don't like eggs, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, but uh, crack, pop it in there. Try not to get the shell in there, because the shell is kind of, it, it, it's shitty. Have you ever tried fishing with your hands? It don't work very well. The, the fish is all slippery and slidey. I don't know why I'm saying that like I've done that before. I've never done that before. But I know some of y'all country people out there probably have. And I don't know how y'all do it. But we, boom, we're six for six. Nothing down the egg, in the eggs, all right? So again, I like, so I like to use a fork. Let's grab a fork. And I like to whisk the as the fork. It helps to aerate it a little better. Uh, pan's hot. So, so again, make sure your pan is hot. Mix it up. Don't fall in there. A little bit of Johnny seasoning. I love Johnny's. I use it for a lot. Now, again, if this was for an adult, I would have added onions, tomatoes, uh, jalapenos, avocado, things like that. It's not. You cook for your audience, or for the people who's eating it. If they don't like it, they're not gonna eat it. So regular seasoning, salt, and pepper. I'm cooking for a two-year-old. And me, I'm not a two-year-old, shut up. If y'all want how to make it very fluffy, I like to use milk. Typically you can also use a, uh, an egg beater. I don't have an egg beater, so we're just gonna use milk. If you don't like milk, or you don't drink milk, you can use water. So, mix it up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna come right on over here. So you know your pan's hot enough when one, you feel the heat, sorry. You feel the heat come off the pan, and then two, when you spray the stuff and it's kind of frothy, like almost like white, it looks like water droplets now. So, place your eggs in there. So it looks like that. And now here goes for this. Now this is how, this is the secret part. Now, I like my bacon really crispy, so I'm not, I like to make sure it is really cooked. We're taking out our bacon and tater tots. So you can see right there. Tater tots and bacon, they're cooked. What we're gonna do is we're now gonna grab a spatula. Oh boy, ignore all that difficultiness right there. We're gonna grab a spatula. Oh, I have a clean one here. All right, grab the spatula. You're gonna take your tater tots, put them in the eggs, because you want them to cook together. Just trust me, because they're gonna break all apart, and it's gonna be great. And so now what you have is you got the bacon grease and the bacon that's coating 
that. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we got our, our turtle tops inside the eggs. Take a look. They look just like that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get your spatula. And you kind of want to mix it around because you want the tater tots to be blending in with the eggs. I promise you, if you've not had like this before, you're tripping. And no matter like I said, no one put avocado, onion, tomato, and all that in there. Obviously, we're not doing that this time. You want to kind of cook it on a high heat because you don't want to have the, uh, uh, you don't want the tater tots to get too soggy, which would be fine because. That's just not fine, but they won't get inside because the eggs are gonna fluff up, so it'll be fine. All right, now you wanna get a napkin. Because we're taking the bacon off now. So normally I use a cutting board. I'm gonna use a plate. I don't have a clean cutting board right now, and I'm not really trying to clean right now. Even though it's very oxymoronic, because I just said I was gonna clean it. Like, forget all that part. For right now, we're not doing that. So, Get yourself a clean, some tongs. Take your bacon. I don't like the bacon sitting in all the grease for so long. Um, so I'm gonna grab it, if I can grab it. God damn it. And place it on there. And we're gonna get the other one to put them on there. This is just so it doesn't soak the grease. And that napkin is gonna absorb a lot of that grease for you. I ain't gonna say this now for people that don't know this. I shouldn't have to say it, but I'm gonna say it. Bacon grease does not go down the drain. Do not put it down the drain. I promise you, if you put it down the drain, <sighs> that's money. But well, it's bacon, so yeah. My son's gonna get pissed at me eating bacon. But anyway, just like that. So bacon's done. Mix this up a little more. So you don't wanna mix it too much. You wanna let it get a little hard on the bottom. Which we're looking like if we got like this so far. So they look. I promise you, it probably looks worse than it is. It tastes delicious. I promise you that. I promise you that, okay? So we're gonna let that sit. Because that's the last thing we need. That is pretty much it. Put the milk. Oh, not quite. Hold on. Nope, that's in the fridge. I forgot probably the best part. The cheese, man, you got the cheese in it. So get your cheese first. Again, if you're an adult, I like pepper jack. We don't have pepper jack, we're using cobra jack. So don't cheat on the cheese, neither. Load with cheese, man. Cheesy hash, cheesy tater tots. Has, tater tots are hash browns, they're just in a different shape. Argue with me if I'm wrong. Even if I am wrong, I'm probably not gonna admit I'm wrong. Screw it. <laughs> Put all the cheese in there. We want all the cheese. So we're gonna end that. Cause cheese is good for you. No, maybe not that cheese. Some cheese it looks like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it. I can't do this in one hand. We're gonna mix it. So what you're getting is you have the oil from the bacon grease. You have eggs. And you have I'm gonna say hash browns, cause the tater tots are not gonna stay whole. They're gonna break up like hash browns are. So basically you got hash browns and eggs. That might sound a little more familiar to y'all. Hash brown eggs and some cheese. So those are about done. I'm gonna shut off the, uh, the stove top because it's still hot, so it's still gonna cook regardless. And I'm gonna get a plate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving. I gotta get my son's plate too. So my son likes apples, so I'm, I will be giving him an apple with that, but we're just gonna show you mine. Is I promise you, you make this. <laughs> I promise you. If you have kids, I don't know if you have kids now, but if you have kids, 
th this is this is where it's at. The bacon. 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 There. Move that off to there. All right, so what we have right now is this is your food right here. Boom, bacon, hash, bacon, hash browns, eggs. It does not look like a lot, but I promise you, it is definitely a lot. Um, It's a lot, so we're gonna try it. Cause you already know, we gotta try everything we make. So, look at that, see that? It's cheese, it's hash browns, and it's eggs right there. Again, money. Try it out. I promise you, you're going to like it. it is, it's bomb. It has a little bit of bacon in it. It got some cheese in it. It got some eggs in it. It got some resistance tater tots. You can't go wrong. Try it out. It's delicious. I'm out.